Meron nga ma Romantic Romi mi stablo one place we E mi hat lo mi Time sick e mi kasa mi Mi tinga po out all pass E mi track we e mi stab Si ve slow down Be e mi long way to mas Be true lo promatik mi stop now ya. Mi no sabe se hat lo mi hemi no good. Mi no sabe se mi cat hat problem. Live up lo mi hemi no good. Be mi want them tell them se promatik hemi want help up lo yumi whole fun watu. Mi sleep lo te uma. Mi cat pel mi mi sta harem no good. Mo lo time ay nakatol baso li ron. Mi harem no good kasem lo morning. Mi game se mi ringi ma prometi ko di kam. O di kam, mi tilawarin baby hinis. O di kam, o di wakem kut mi, wakem baby, hasta o di karem mi tulag ko l-hospital. Mi talem thank you to mas lo prometi ko, pray sa wem life lumi wakem baby. I-stop mi lo lo every something. Ah, sem. Mi no sa wakap out. So, I want to say one man by Holomi. By Holomi, I have to say a win for me by Phyllis. I must make them wave for me, for me to stand up, for me to stand up. When I'm positioned now by me, I stand up, for me to stop trying to get back to win for me. I have to say that 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 I have been suffering from you. I have been suffering from you. I suppose I have been suffering from you. I think the time I have been suffering. I have been suffering. Well, I was in the bathroom cleaning the drain pipe with extremely hot steaming water for like half an hour. Then after having my shower, then I felt lightheaded. Then I went to unlock the door and try to dry myself up, but I was gone. A man in his 30s that had collapsed in the shower and was deeply unconscious. And so when I arrived, I was met by, at the, at the entrance to the building by the, the patient's brother-in-law, but he was in a very confined space a very small bathroom, it was very hot and steamy, and the patient was obviously having a great difficulty breathing. He had a partially obstructed airway. He was completely unresponsive and, and not moving. So the next thing I remembered when I was regaining my consciousness, and there was pro medicals. They were checking up on me, asking if I was okay or not. And I said that everything was fine, asking my name, my age. And then after that, they took me to the hospital. On the 8th of August, Sunday night, I had it again. I had the bloating, and this time it was severe as well. well uh, Mr. Lal was, uh, had a condition uh, with a problem with a cardiac. He needs to be urgently transferred to Nikal for the operation. They um, took me from the hospital to the airport, onto the aircraft, and all the way to Nikal. I was appointed to escort, and it was my first time to do an international med medical evacuation. The staff that was with me was very good. He did a professional and very professional job on the aircraft. Uh, 
Pascal. His name is Pascal. Wonderful job, wonderful person. Checked everything, made sure I was comfortable on the plane. If I had any problems, I would tell him. He is in, you know, every five, ten minutes, he's asking me if I'm okay or not. When we took off from Phila, from the International Airport, and we are going high, jugging the monitor, I saw the oxygen saturation is dropping from 98 down to 80, and then go up to 90, and then down to 80, while the blend is still going high. I was gonna give the oxygen, but then I stopped. I said, no, I need to just observe him for a short time. It was a very good experience. Because I was being checked and uh, my oxygen level was checked all along. ECG was done. Um, they you know, checked everything on the flight until we landed in uh, New Caledonia. I am very happy about Pro Medic Service. Very professional, very efficient, highly professional, I would say. We've planned an activity that's called Vanuatu Volcano Run. And it's the first ever Volcano Run that will be held in Vanuatu. And the first edition was planned to uh, take place uh, in Tana Island. So uh, during our planning for this run, um, one of the things that we considered was the safety of all the runners that will participate during the run, it was very important for us to take note of the safety and little things that can happen uh, during the run. So uh, that's why we approached ProMed to provide a standby service uh, for medical assistance in case if any runners um, are injured, either minor injuries or, or big uh, major injuries. I would say it was a uh, good planning, the assistance that they gave us and the, the medical response plan overall was good because we're not we've not only planned for um, the minor things that could happen but we've planned for expecting the worst. I recommend the services for pro medical um, whatever event it's always good to have them on standby. And lastly, from medical, you buff pit in fire. I become who I am today. Eh? I'm proud of who I am, and I'm happy that I am who I am, and I'm willing to save the community in any circumstances. The feeling that it's inside of me now is like I feel so proud and happy that we completed uh, our diploma. I think it's a very, very big achievement that me and my other colleagues have achieved this year. So I just want to say thank you to all the, the volunteers, pro medical staff, our sponsors, PNO, mo uh, mostly. Uh, so I just want to say thank you to everyone. There are a few challenges that uh, I do face when I'm doing my diploma studies. I face a lot of challenges because I have a family and I need to look after the family and then come to work sometimes during uh, my days off doing uh, my studies. As I'm a female, because I'm the only one uh, female uh, in the group, I face uh, a challenge between gender, like on-road uh, work every time. Uh, because when I talk on the phone and then when they hear my voice that I'm a female then they started shouting at me and like demanding and saying oh, you need to come quickly and when I started uh, like trying to explain everything but they won't listen and even when I arrive at scene I don't feel it, that it's safe. Sometimes men are not uh, like uh, they look down on uh, women so they don't want to listen to the uh, to uh, female voice. So I think that's like a difficulty. But I really try my best to like stand up and talk out that 
gender equality, yeah? I, I try to promote that even when I face challenge, but I really try my best. Uh, my name is uh, George Jack. Uh, I'm one of the DMT students. Uh, I started enrolled this course in 2017. First of all, I, I want to say thank you to PNO for giving us this chance to take this course. I know that this course is very expensive. Uh, we don't have enough money to sponsor this course to help us students in Sivanwatu, but uh, I just want to say a big thank you to PNO Cruz uh, to give us this big opportunity uh, to help us to, to do this study. Uh, sometimes uh, we do a lot of work, especially night time and day time. And sometimes it makes me tired and we don't, I don't have enough time to, uh, to do my studies. Uh, also, uh, uh, sometimes I uh, have a problem with my family at home and all these things uh, makes me to find hard to do my study. But I just want to thank you for the, some of the paramedics that they used to come and help me out with this, this study some of the paramedics that the old paramedics that they've been here before and uh, they used to help me a lot in my study. I, uh, I just want to say thank you for this opportunity to, to have this uh, course. Uh, to be honest, this course gives me uh, confidence a lot to help me to provide good service to uh, the communities uh, in, in Vanuatu. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank a few people. The Biono Cruz, for the generous sponsorship to us, the Nivan locals, to take up this course from the Emergency Australia, it's a blast. And it's, it's a blessing to us too, to take up this course. And thank you to the BNO Cruz, thank you so much for your uh, generous support and for your sponsorship. And also I would like to thank the Australian volunteers program that you, are, you have been continuously uh, sending the volunteers here to help us, push us to complete this course. I started enroll in this course in 2019. It's an opportunity for me to take up this course. Uh, I took up this course and coming up I faced few challenges especially when you are working and responding, job, responding to jobs and at the same time trying to study, you find it a little bit difficult to concentrate when you have late night job and coming in early morning to study. I managed to find some times out to do my study. So most of them, I, do, I did my study, especially in my days off or in my days off in the evening I have, to t I have to take my family to the station, sitting and watching me while uh, continuing doing my course and submitting my assessments. And now that I completed this course this year, and I'm happy and I'm very proud of myself of achieving this uh, uh, achievement. And we are so happy. We cannot thank you enough it's an individual of you who have helped us. We thank all of you for your generous support and mentoring and also your skills. And we believe that whatever knowledge and skills that you have taught us would help us to move forward and provide the best ambulance service in the country. I would like to say thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, so my name's Troy Spann, um, I'm the leader of Pro Rescue. Um, we started in uh, 2014 and we're a volunteer rescue service based on the New South Wales SES. So Pro Rescue currently has uh, 40 members, completely all volunteers. They give up their time every Tuesday night to come training to keep our skills current. We do road crash rescues, uh, industrial and domestic rescues, vertical rescues, inland water rescue. So we've, uh, um, over the years, we've uh, done some uh, really big jobs. Our, our whole year is, is taken up. We go through the same training every year with all our specialties. So this year, um, in particular, um, we did a medic course uh, with Wayne Barnes. So once again, so we could help out pro-medical more. And um, that's something that we'll definitely run again next year so that we're more beneficial and more helpful to pro-medical 
in mass casualty situations. It was an amazing day. The seafront just lent itself to the Survivor Games. Uh, we went all out. We built lots of props. Uh, as much as possible, we made the Survivor Games uh, like the TV show. We wanted the people who were competing in the Survivor Games to make them think that Jeff Probst was going to pop out and see them. So it was a, it was a very successful day and um, something that we'll do you know, every year down at the seafront.